Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Tech Tuesday on the Educational Lady Podcast. We'll be right back with today's tech guest, but we want to give a shout out to our partners, Vital Signs Wall of Fame, Florida Coaches Coalition, the Global Community of Women in High School Sports, and We Coach. These are four great organizations. You should really add them to your network. And now, don't hit that fast forward button. Stay with us for the next three minutes as we give our sponsors their shout out. These are all great companies that I used as an AD or as a coach. You should be using them too. Here we go. We want to say thanks to Home Campus for their support. Home Campus is the exclusive high school and state association information management platform for the podcast. It's also your one-stop platform for scheduling, student-athlete eligibility and clearance, and a lot more. As an athletic director, I used Home Campus every single day, and it was just fantastic. And to find out how you can become part of the Home Campus team, all you got to do is go to homecampus.com. That's homecampus.com. Check them out today. We also want to thank Snap Mobile. Go to snapraise.com. Check out their entire suite of platforms, including Snap Raise, that are designed to help you do your job better. You've got Snap Store, Snap Manage, Snap Connect, Snap Sponsor, and of course, Snap Raise, their fundraising platform. To find out about all of them, go to snapraise.com. We also want to say thanks to Gipper. Go to gipper.com. Let their team help you create custom sports graphics in seconds to celebrate your athletes and promote your teams. Mention the podcast, you'll get a nice little discount. Gipper is used and trusted by over 3,000 athletic departments, and you can start creating professional graphics easily with Gipper.com. Check them out today. We also want to thank Vital Signs Wall of Fame. You know, they're on a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. Let Vital Signs help you celebrate your entire community. They'll showcase your school's diverse history, your proudest moments, and your top role models. Go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. We want to thank Hometown Ticketing. It's digital ticketing that offers more. Whether it's more support, more security, or more customization, Hometown is here to make the best solution for you. Go to hometownticketing.com. They're going to show you how to set up and sell your tickets, scan your attendees, collect your revenue, and you'll also have a dedicated client success manager providing hands-on support. That's hometownticketing.com. Simple and easy online ticketing. We also want to say thanks to Sideline Interactive indoor score tables and video boards. Go to sidelineinteractive.com. Schedule a live web demo. See their tables and their boards in action. That's sidelineinteractive.com. Probably one of the best purchases I ever made as an athletic director. Sidelineinteractive.com. We also want to thank District 1. Go to district1.com, that's W-O-N, and you're going to feel like you've won when you see their custom uniforms, their on-time delivery, and their one-at-a-time replacement program. You'll never have to order a full set of uniforms when you just need one or two sets. Go to district1.com, click on the Team Gear button, uh, and get your free quote. That's district1.com. We also want to say thanks to Huddle. Go to huddle.com and change the way you see the game. As a football coach, I used Huddle for years. But when I became an athletic director, I made sure our school was a Huddle school. And the tools that Huddle provided helped our coaches coach our kids up to their highest potential. At Huddle, we believe in sport and teams believe in Huddle. Join the 6 million users and turn your school into a Huddle school. And we want to say thanks to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Athletic Surveys are a quick, easy, and affordable way for you to collect comprehensive data that allows you to evaluate and improve your entire program. ADs usually only hear back from the complainers, the people that want to gripe about everything. And that's only about 2% of your population. Athletic Surveys will connect you with that 2% and also with the 98% that love and support your program. And that's a tremendously valuable tool to have when you're talking with your principal, 
your school board, or your frustrated parent. Go to athleticsurveys.com. Get started today. Athleticsurveys.com. Hey, welcome back, everyone, to another segment of Tech Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast. Uh, we've got one of our uh, semi-regulars, uh, Matt Mangold. He's a uh, consultant in the area of athletic administration, uh, very well-versed in all things uh, ADs. Uh, Matt also works for a great company, Mascot Media. Uh, Matt, welcome back to Tech Tuesday. And what do you have for our listeners this week? Appreciate you having me, Andre. Yeah, it's uh, it's great to be here, and uh, you know it's it's summertime. We're rolling up. Uh, yeah, it's going to be July Fourth before you know it. So, uh, top of mind for me is kind of getting ready for that next season um, as you're rolling into twenty three, twenty four, and you want to kind of make sure you're not falling behind, but you also don't want to spend your whole summer getting things done. So, uh, it, it points back to what we've been doing, and some of the ideas I've been working with, actually, really in Florida specifically. Um, kind of getting set up for that 23, 24 school year. So what we do here is we, you know, the, the biggest two things I think we do at Mascot is, is website and, and this mobile app idea where you have a custom mobile app for your program. Uh, and the idea being is it, it's a great source for information, getting in touch with and, and keeping your community really engaged and, and kind of growing out that athletic community. Um, so what we, what we can do here is we actually build that stuff out for you, including getting your schedules in, um, getting everything up to date. We can integrate your streaming and things like that. But the idea is to kind of, because we're getting most of this done for you, it takes a lot off the plate of what you're doing in the summertime, but allows you to really have that uh, sort of D1 program look and feel for the upcoming year, something that you can get your community really excited about uh, and keep them informed here. So yeah, that's that's what's been going through on my side of the plate here. I actually... Uh, I ran a little LinkedIn poll recently where I pulled some athletic directors. Looks like we got a, about 190 responses here about what a primary job of an AD is. Um, and some of the answers we got, uh, leading student athletes, that's a big one, obviously. Um, some people just wanted to see the results, of course. Uh, but I think the two biggest ones we got were setting kids up for success, which I think is always a big thing. But the number one answer, almost 50% of the votes, was building an athletic community. And I think that's a strong indicator of what we're trying to do in this space um, where you, of course, leading student athletes, you know, you've got the manual tasks of scheduling and transportation and all those fun things, but building this community, uh, not only to support your student athletes and, and show that they have a big group behind them, but also to kind of engage with your community. You know, there's a lot of great people uh, that want to be a part of this. It's, it's funny. It's, I think back to myself as a sports fan, um, I tend to, my father wasn't a big sports guy. I tend to go for um, Carolina sports. I had an uncle in the Charlotte area and I, I've got UNC stuff all over the place. And um, I think about if it came to going to a, a Carolina Tar Heels final four game or my nephew's Tuesday night baseball game, I'd probably go to my nephew's game. It's just, there's this rabid fan base here. Uh, that you really want to get in touch with and keep informed, but they're just looking for ways to be a part of it. Uh, so it's this is something that we I'm really excited to be able to work with. Um, you know, it's one of the reasons I came to Mascot here is I saw this opportunity for really enabling this community building um, and, and getting people excited about not just the student athletes, but the programs and and maybe the ones you know football and basketball and some of these have really good fan bases already, but getting things whether it's softball or swimming or golf, track and field is a really fun one. Uh, and just kind of building everyone up and and, and getting everyone involved. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the biggest thing here is, is having this mobile app and website to really let everyone be a part of it and, uh, and get everyone engaged in the community here. Yeah, fan engagement, that's, that's one of the things that as an AD, and again, I'm not in the game anymore since I retired, but I would hear frequently from our parents, you know, uh, you know, why don't we have bigger crowds and, um, you know, why don't the kids, you know, support this team compared to that team? And they're, they're kind of thinking back uh, to, uh, I guess, those years when they were in school, although I, I think it was a change maybe when I was in school, uh, 
we just didn't have so many teams. There weren't lacrosse teams yeah. and soccer teams and all these different teams that um, those used to be fans. And that's why the volleyball yeah. or the basketball games, you know, had sellout crowds because, you know, the kids were there. Now they have their own games to attend. Right. So it, it is a challenge for ADs. What are some um, some cool ways that you have seen uh, either clients of yours or, or just, you know, in your years in the business, what are some cool ways that you've seen schools or ADs reach out and try to engage fans? I know there's a million different ways, but what are some yeah. couple of things that stick out for you? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. I've seen a couple. Um, there are some great things you can do around sort of gamifying things. So, you know, Hey, this Tuesday night's volleyball fan of the week or something like that and spot showcasing them on your school's social media, athletic social media, where you talk to one fan who was really showing up and showing out. That's a part, that's a student that's, that's in there and that's, you know, at the game and enjoying that. Um, another one I've seen, and this is going back to uh, honestly, a, a, another company that I worked for before is Gipper. They've got some really cool tools for interviewing students on the sideline. Um, there's some cool things that they've been able to do with that. It's a great team. They've got some great ones there. Um, and it, it's, it's just be, making your student athletes a part of the process as opposed to just a bystander or a fan, getting them involved in it and showcasing not just the student athletes, but your fans as well and showing the excitement and the, and the, uh, the thrill of being there and watching these student athletes. I think that's fun as well. Like something like a fan cam at your, at your pro game. You know, people like to be a part of it and like to, like to have their faces seen. No, again, it's they're easy to do, um, and yep. they're just so effective because, as you know, that's where the kids are these days. They are on social media. So if you're not taking yes. advantage of that uh, as an AD, as a coach, you know, you're really missing out on easy ways yeah. to promote your program. Um, Definitely. Matt, uh, again, you're just uh, a wealth of information. If one of our listeners wanted to reach out, Pick your brain a little bit more. Listeners, you got a great resource here. What's the best way they can get a hold of you? Yeah, I think if you just find me on LinkedIn is uh, is kind of where I spend a lot of my time. And it's just Matt Mangold, M-A-N-G-O-L-D. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's, I do have a, a Twitter. I haven't been on there in a little bit, but um, I'm there as well if you need me. And and my email is just mmangold at mascotmedia. That's M-M-A-N-G-O-L-D at mascotmedia.net. Yeah, I can attest. Matt is very active on uh, LinkedIn. Uh, has some great, <laughs> uh, great posts there. Matt, thanks for sharing with our listeners today and um, all the best uh, with the um, unfolding summer months. Awesome. I appreciate you having me on again, Jake, and uh, we'll talk soon. Best of luck Absolutely. To for our listeners, we do this every single week, and uh, we also upload the Zoom recordings to the Educational AD Podcast YouTube channel. We appreciate you listening. Come back next Tuesday for another great tech tip and just about every day for new content on the Educational AD Podcast. We'll see you next time. Before we go, we do want to acknowledge our sponsors just one more time. Uh, Home Campus, um, if you need a uh, uh, information management platform for budgeting, for scheduling, uh, for connecting with your state association, I really encourage you to check out Home Campus. Go to homecampus.com, see what they can do for you. I want to thank District 1. Uh, if you're looking for custom uniforms with great pricing, great quality, and one-at-a-time replacements, go to District 1. That's W-O-N, district1.com. Hometown Ticketing is the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. I don't think I need to say anything more. Go to hometownticketing.com. Start selling your tickets online. I want to thank Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. If you're not using a survey to take the pulse of your parents or your student athletes, you're really missing out. Go to athleticsurveys.com, see what they can do for you. We want to say thanks to Huddle. As a football coach, I used Huddle. As an AD, we were a Huddle school. Go to huddle.com, check out all the tools that they can provide for you and your coaches. I want to thank Wall of Fame by Vital Science. You know, they're on a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. Go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. Mention you heard it on the podcast. I'll give you a nice discount. Same thing with Gipper. Go to gipper.com. Start creating custom content for your school's social media channel. That's gipper.com. 
Sideline Interactive indoor score tables and video boards. Probably one of the best purchases I ever made as an AD was my Sideline Interactive indoor score table. Check it out today at sidelineinteractive.com. And Snap Mobile. Go to snapraise.com. Check out their entire suite of platforms, including SnapRaise, the best fundraising program out there. Um, all their platforms are designed to help you do your job better. Thanks again for listening to uh, this episode of Tech Tuesday. We'll see you next time on the Educational AD Podcast.